start streaming. Hopefully this is gonna work out today. I wanted to talk to you about what's up with ZXW 3.0. So as of today, the dongles are out of here and ZXW is forcing everyone to use the new username and password method of logging in. So that kind of throws you for a loop if you've been doing it one way like I have with the dongle for a long time, now you've kind of got to do it a different way. So I'm going to walk you through how to get transitioned over to ZXW 3.0, how to get a license and set it up for the first time, or how to bind your existing dongle if you still have a subscription uh, left on your dongle. And I'm going to do something else for the community. I'm going to use this demo to set you up and um, create for the community a free emergency ZXW. Probably this is a terrible idea, but I'm going to give it a shot. I have faith in this community that, you know, this happened to me pretty recently. I went on a trip. I packed my dongle. I was going to give a conference and do a live demo got to the conference and I couldn't find my dongle and I was sort of thrown for a loop and I had to go through all of this and it was painful. So I want to spare you that and have a free community resource, which is a, a license for anybody to use um, free ZXW. And I'm going to show you, we're going to set that up right now. Okay. So how do we start? When I went through the painful process of converting to 3.0, I made a blog about it. So go to iPadRehab.com and click on blog and you'll be able to navigate or search to this blog article that I made because I found it so painful that right out of the box, you know, all of these dialogue uh, messages were in totally in Chinese and I, I had my camera out trying to translate things that I had no idea what was going on. So uh, hopefully I can spare you some of that pain. So everything kind of starts the same at the at the same way, which is you need to um, first get a license. So either you've got a dongle that you're converting over, so you're going to bind your dongle that you already have, or you're going to buy or renew a license. So a license is just an online code. So we sell those codes at iPad Rehab Supply, so you can click and find our listing here for the online license code. So if you want to get one from us, just check out add to bag checkout. That will generate a notification to my team and we will send you the code that you need for your online license. In the meantime, you need to create your account. So while you're waiting for the code, you're going to create your account. So here's how you do that. Uh, first, you are going to download the latest version of ZXW, which currently is 3.0. So you can download that lots of places. I put a link here to the SourceForge download. So you're going to download ZXW and extract it to someplace on your computer. So extract it to your desktop or whatever, and then you're going to open it up. And when you open it up, that's where you get hit with the you know first trouble, which is um, it kind of assumes that you're the typical user, which is some dude in China. So it's all in Chinese. And this, this translates for you what that dialogue says. So it's asking you to type in your username and password, which if you don't have an account, you haven't set that up yet. So it's prompting you to enter that username and password. Now, if you already have an account, then you'll type in your username and password here. And then those two boxes underneath are asking you, hey, do you want me to save that password or save your username. So I usually click yes. If you're coming here for the first time when you're first launching ZXW 3.0, click need account. So that's this little link here. Once you click that link, it's going to take you to the ZXW tools website where you're going to create your user account. Now your user account is separate from your license, which is either the online code or the dongle. So we're going to create the account no matter what, and then we're going to link it to a license that's going to last for one year. So let's try it together. I haven't walked through this, so this is a live stream. We'll see what happens, but hopefully my, my blog that I wrote a, a couple of a month ago or so is going to work. So let's go uh, directly to the new account page here in the blog, which should, uh, Whoa, <laughs> this is what it feels like. Translate, yes, please. You know, here we go. So it's asking me to set up a new account. This is going to be the same process if you were to set up ZXW. Now, mine has already been converted to English where it would ask you create a new account. And if we click that, it should go to the same place. 
All right, so, so here we are at ZXW and we're gonna make our account. All right, so let's make our account name and the account name is gonna ultimately, I think the account name is gonna be our login. Might be wrong on that, but let's try it out. So let's make our community account that we're doing together and let's call it emergency. I kind of like the idea of making emergency ZXW. But I know that half you guys say Z, so that would be confusing. Emergency Z X W. Okay, email. All right, so I'm gonna make up an email address because I've already used these ones, which are uh, our like, you know, conventional ones and spam ones. Hmm, I, think, I feel like I've already, I've made a few in here for student logins. So let's see, what if I do info at ipadrehab.com? Let's see, that could be one. All right, password. So our, emer our public account, the emergency ZXW, is going to be password, Ronnie. Don't forget it. Write it down. Thanks, iPad Rehab. Thanks, iPad Rehab. Confirm. Thanks, iPad Rehab. Did you see that typing without even looking at letters? Thank you, Mrs. Waters from 11th grade. Nickname. Mm, let's make the nickname also be emergency ZXW. All right, phone number. Now these phone numbers are uh, just the number that you would type in if you had to look it up. I think we've heavily linked the iPad Rehab business number to other ZXW accounts, so uh, so we'll just try it again. You know, Z sure, iPad Rehab number. All right, ID card number. Now this ID card number, I think is asking you for your license and this is optional. So in China, like an ID card number, it's another way, like your social security number. So I'm gonna leave that one blank. Password recovery questions. Is that required? Okay, sure. All right, I love this, this is so funny. I remember this, the nearest person's ID card number. Nobody is here, so we'll have to, do the most memorable phone number is obviously the iPad rehab phone number, which is 585-397-4174. Same as before. That's the most memorable phone number I know. I wonder what happens if you put 911. Verification code. Oh my, can you guys see? Uh, did someone say free? Uh, let's see. W-T-O. <laughs> what do you guys think? Whoa-oh. <laughs> What, do you, what does that say? Is that a zero? Mm, all right. Okay, now here's the thing. One account, so we're creating an account that can be used on 15 computers, not sign in at the same time. So that means 15 of you guys will be able to use this account, but only one at a time. So we'll see. We'll see how, we'll see how many of you get too much information. Uh, that email already exists. Yes, I'm aware. All right, so we're going to change this to emergency at ipadrehab.com to, to go with this whole account. Okay, now how about that? Password format. What are you talking about? Thanks, iPad Rehab. Thanks, iPad Rehab. Submit. Did it work? Verification code error. C. That is impossible to tell. Who can tell me, chat? Lewis's number. That's really funny. Who can tell me what the heck that verification number is? Uh, I really can't see it at all. Required. Forget password. All right. Let's see. Thanks, iPad Rehab. And I'm going to copy and paste that so that it will, whoa, why is it doing that? Thanks. iPad Rehab. This is probably gonna take a while until I can actually get a code. Ah, part of me is tempted to click that fast register thing, but I would probably forget it. Emergency ZXW, thanks, iPad rehab thanks ipad rehab work oh all right 
Yes, do save that password. Registered successfully. Yes, so now I have created an account. So I'm gonna log in. Now, I'm really never gonna need to log in here at ZXW, like at the ZXW mothership. I don't need to go here more than once a year when I actually have to link my account to the authorization code. All right, so this is my password and account name, and I'm gonna type in the little, <laughs> I hate these things. Is that it? All right, so now the personal data, account name Emergency ZXW for everyone, nickname Emergency ZXW, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now this is where I need to bind my account to my code. I'm going to bind my account to my code. That way, when I actually go to ZXW and I log in, it will recognize that I actually have a license. So this is the step where I tell it the license. Now let's click back and make sure that, um, that we're all on the same page back on the blog article that we're walking through. So yep, I think we've got it. So we clicked, we made our account, and then we got a success message, and then we should be here, which is at CXW, and it wants the authorization code. All right, click authorization code, and it's going to uh, prompt you to enter that serial number and license code that you can get from iPad Rehab Supply or any of the other folks that are selling ZXW licenses. So you gotta have that code. All right, so if you get your code from me, add to bag checkout, and then I'm gonna email you a code. So I am going to use one of those right now to create the emergency ZXW while you, you guys are all uh, fighting to be uh, one of the 15 computers that can actually use this. So let's see, um, let's see where we are. Here we are. All right, so we're gonna go back to, back to our blog. Authorization code, we're gonna click here, and then we're gonna enter the serial number and the code for that license. Okay, so that's what this looks authorization code so this this gets really confusing the personal data which is where we are online payment renewal never click that that is going to take you to you know that remember the mindset here is that you're a dude in china which is the common user and that you are hooked with wechat and alipay and that it's easy you've got a chinese bank account this is all going to be super easy if you are in china but we're not in China, so it's not easy. If you click online payment renewal or try to negotiate anything through ZXW, you're gonna be required to use Alipay. And in order to use Alipay, you must have a Chinese bank account, which most of us don't have and can't get, which is why folks like me sell licenses so that you don't have to deal with China and Alipay. So if you click any of that, you know, renewal, that kind of stuff. So what we wanna do, is let's see if we say um let's see is it authorization code renewal i don't remember authorization code hmm i don't know why it says renewal it didn't used to say renewal code query code renewal let's see account name serial number password and this goddamn verification code for immediate use all right so i am going to click that I'm gonna uh, make sure that that works out well and that we don't uh, get any unfortunate incidents happening here. So I'm gonna copy and paste the serial number from an iPad rehab code and the license authorization code password. All these words, code, password, get really fatiguing. And so I'm just filling out that form that you guys just saw. And I'm going to click immediate use. And this is what happened. What the heck was that? Oh, that was from some old thing. John Joyner says, China! China, solidarity. Um, what was that image five? I'm kind of tempted to read that. Uh, here we are. Nope. Yep. There we go. So I think that's back to display capture. Yes. 
All right, so I clicked, I entered in a code, a secret code that you guys couldn't steal and enter before I could enter it. Authorization code used successfully. Excellent. All right, so now we have, uh, we've had a handshake with ZXW in China and now emergency ZXW, the free one for everyone is now authorized for use. So let's see if one of you guys, if I can kick off whoever is actually using this right now. So that's the thing. Initially, I was excited. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so sweet. One code can be used for 15 computers, which is true, but not at the same time. So here at iPad Rehab, we've had to buy like three or four codes for in-house use because I got sick and tired of Mark would log in and it would kick off my login. So that gets to be really irritating. Okay, so now we're done with the bit here at ZXW Mothership, and we're gonna go back to actually loading ZXW. So here we are at ZXW, and now we can type in the account and the password. So the account is emergency ZXW, and the password is who remembers? Thanks, iPad Rehab. I'm not gonna bother to click auto login, and did you end up finding out if you can use the older dongles? You have to bind your dongle. Login. Ah, wrong about. No. Um, this is what's interesting that I think th that this copy of ZXW is linked to the account that I normally use, but I've got, I've been using two accounts on here, so I don't see why this wouldn't work. Emergency ZXW. Thanks, iPad Rehab. Login. Mm, that should work unless it doesn't like something who has oh i know what it is i bet this i bet that 15 people have already linked their computers to this and so i can't use it so somebody in chat you got to tell me whether or not you're able to log in to emergency zxw and tell me what's up let's go over and see what chat has to say about this let's see um, I linked mine today. Bind your dog. Do you have to pay a renewal for older ones? You don't have to pay a renewal if you still have time on your dongle. So, you know, if this dongle has two months left, I can bind the dongle. Let's go ahead and skip up to binding a dongle. Let's actually try to do that. Um, so here's a dongle here that I am going to try a different way. This dongle, I think, still has some time left on it. So let's see what happens. Let's try to bind this dongle to that login. Let's see what happens if we do that. All right, let's see. This is a well thought out user interface. Okay, so um, Google Translate helped. Uh, let's see, I am going to click over so let's let's do this let's go let's go back and be sure that we're clear on the normal path here so when we're not doing a whole bunch of these different logins the normal path if you're by yourself at the computer that you use that only has one copy of zxw on it then what's going to happen is you enter in your um license and serial number so that your account is recognized by zxw with that code and then you're gonna come back and you're going to open up ZXW itself again. So you're gonna come back to your computer, open ZXW proper. And then you're gonna to wanna to do this, convert ZXW to English. So once it opens up and you enter your account and your password in the Chinese dialogue, then click the T, click that T. Then that T will give you the a drop down menu in the middle one pick that and that's going to let you select your language which is really cool so ch so click s for changing the server which will let you pick your language it'll change your language to english change the server to one of the hong kong ones and then close the xw restart it and then it will be in English and it will look like mine here. It will look like it's all in English. We can read all of these words and it'll be a lot easier from, from then on out. Okay, so I'm gonna just click out of that. Let's see what happens if I go account status, sign in. Yes, let's do sign in. Uh, let's see, let's, I really wanna try to sign in with this emergency one. 
emergency z x w password thanks ipad rehab that should be fine let's say sure auto login room password do you like that wrong account or password let's see what you who who has had success logging in with this let's see um let's see what about phone board nobody seems to use that in a professional way that i know of i mean i haven't ever tried it i think mark mark and i i tried it for like 10 seconds mark spent like a day on it and found too many lack of diode mode readings and a couple of mistakes and then he quit as well let's see um all right let's see okay so it took me two hours to figure it out yeah it's it's really frustrating which is why we wanted to to do this all right so nevertheless you sh if you can you got to be able to log in here in order to bind the dongle so i'm going to just skip ahead and use my uh, my typical login. So how do I get rid of this? Let's get rid of this. And I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to log in the normal way. So you know how it says that one account can only be used on 15 computers. That's what I suspect is going on here. Or I suspect that this instance of ZXW that I've been using is already linked to an account. And I haven't paid close enough attention to know if this one can, if this instance of ZXW software, can that only be linked to one username and password combination? And I bet that's what's going on. All right, so let's see. All right, log in. Okay, so I entered in my normal one, which is just for me because I got to get worked it. To, I got to get some work done. Um, so, um, so I have. Uh, let's see. So I entered in the username and password that I usually use with this computer. Now at home. I use a, a different one and I'm not really sure because we have four different logins. If you have to only use this login on this computer and the other login on the other computer, I don't know. Prior to this moment, I thought that you could use any login with an instance of ZXW, but maybe that's not true. And if so, then we can go update the blog where we're going to kind of keep the mothership of information. If you're just joining us, you can go to the blog and at the end of the blog, comment. You know, so you should be able to add a comment and tell us like, hey, I actually, uh, you know, found out that you can, you know, use your old dongle in this way, or I found out, you know, whatever you guys figure out, this is how we all kind of keep it together. All right, so uh, let's go back here. Now let's talk about the second thing you can do, which is binding your dongle. So you don't have to go out and buy a license today if you already have a dongle. Let's say you just bought this dongle. You know, what the heck? You just bought this dongle. I, up until today, I've, even now, I prefer the dongle. I love the dongle. I love the dongle. Because the dongle, you can just pull out and put in any computer. You know, any so any instance of ZXW, you plug in the dongle and you can use it. So I really, really like the dongle. So, And I'm not a huge fan of change. So what if you have a dongle, you love the dongle, and you want to use your dongle? <coughs> well, ZXW, as of today, no dongle for you. Get rid of the dongle. So you have to do this. Log in like we just did, and then go to your account. So here's your account. And then you can hit binding encryption dog. We gotta bind the dog. Are you sure to bind this encrypted dog? Not really, because if that dog has any time left on it, I'm already, I already have a, um, I don't know what happens if you do this. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't want to bind this dog because if I bind this dog to my account, which as you can see has got a long time on it until June 2020, I don't want to stick it on some, bind it to some, I don't want the dongle to overwrite that. So I'm going to say no, but for you, you can say yes. If you have a dongle at home that you want to use, you want to kind of transfer, suck out of the dongle, the remainder of your subscription and tie it to your username and password then that's what you can do so i'm going to say i'm going to say no and oh let's see binding knowledge must see 
The account can only be bound to one encrypted dog. Let's change the word dongle to encrypted dog because that's hilarious. The encrypted dog is disabled after binding. They're going to shoot your dog. And the valid period will be transferred to the account. All right, so you got to be careful of your encrypted dog. They're going to kill your dog after you bind your dog to China. Tie your dog up to China. China's going to shoot your dog in the head. So be warned. That's what's going to happen. All right. I think that is all that we can, we can say. What I need to do to figure out, hey, what's up with the free ZXW, which my vision is to save you guys from those times where you just real quick need to look up something, god damn it, and you don't have, you forgot your password or you don't know or somehow you got locked out of your account or you need to subscribe again but your boss needs to approve it. Those moments where you just need an emergency solution. That was my, the spirit of doing this video is because I sure could have used that when I was given that conference um, to, to put out there a, a little short term code, you, you know, somebody will kick you off within a few minutes. But for you guys that uh, stuck with this live stream all the way through, it should work. The, the login was emergency ZXW and the passcode was thanks iPad rehab. Now, as you, um, as you know, once you get renewed or figure your stuff out, then associate your computer with your, your license or your dongle and you should be good to go so let me see if anybody's got any questions let's see they also use dogs for other things in china let's see what's going on over here um let's see um allowing an inbound connection from a chinese server to your computer blah 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 well yes you have to accept all of the free what if somebody changed the password Mm, then that would be that would be kind of as a disappointment in humanity which honestly I think people are good and I don't tend to expect bad things out of people you know but your people are gonna do what they're gonna do all right let's see uh, who let the dogs out I'm getting an error to the effect of wrong login failed um, if if it can be changed somebody definitely did i guess so if that is true if somebody changed the password then that's just malicious so i'm gonna go have zxw deactivate that code because that eh, doesn't let everybody play i get it that if it's uh 15 people that are watching the live stream that they're the lucky ones that that uh pick this up i didn't realize that when i started this that it would limit you to 15 computers because that's not super fun either but i do think zxw should have some kind of a trial right some kind of a limited version or something so that if you're not sure you want to get into this at all you know that you can kind of explore around and play a little bit um, so in that case you can use other products um, easy draw I think might be free phone boards definitely free and just kind of play around with this stuff a little bit uh, so uh, there we go scroll up says David uh, that you're, David if you're asking a question about how to fix my phone you can go to iPad rehab forum which we made a forum just for uh, for this kind of thing so there's iPad rehab forum where you can post your questions and I will come by and walk you through, tell you what to measure, interpret your results, ask you questions, go to iPad Rehab Forum. And that's what that is exactly for. Um, for the rest of you guys, we are doing a July training. July training had somebody have to move. Yeah, so July, yeah, it should be on here. Yeah, th there is one spot that just opened up for, for July. So you can call up or email and get that spot. It's July 24th, this weird week. July 24th, it starts on a Wednesday for traditional practical board repair school. iPadRehab.com, click on training, read all about it. And we have our... Um, our July course has a spot left. So check that out. And if you guys have any questions or things that you've wondered about or things that you struggled with with setting up ZXW, 
then drop us a comment and I'll try to figure it out. And I would love to be able to, to give you guys that emergency ZXW login. I'll talk to ZXW and see, um, see what's going on with that. Um, my, the spirit of that I think is really cool. I think it would be really great to be able to just kind of log on, jump on there if you're having that sort of emergency. We'll see whether or not it worked out. I gave it my best shot and that is it for this stream. You can check out our blog article over on ipadrehab.com. Just click blog and you can kind of slowly walk through all that translation and see exactly how to set this stuff up for yourself. I know it can be frustrating. That is it for this time.